Hey everyone, it's Andy from Snow Camps Europe. I'm stood outside the off-piece bar here in Caprun. And in this vlog, we are going to be talking to Martin, the owner, about how the shutdown due to coronavirus has impacted on his businesses. Here he is, and he's got a guitar, because at the end of this vlog, we are going to entertain you with some music. Yes, sir. So here I am with Martin, um, who, as I have just introduced, is the owner of Off Peace Bar, um, and we are outside Caprun. So we're going to just cover a little bit of uh, the history of Off Peace Bar, because I believe, um, Martin, it all started in Gastein um, a few years ago. Then we're going to talk about how coronavirus has impacted the bars. And then, as I said, we are going to treat you with some music at the end. So, Martin, tell us, how did it all start? Well, I was in the tourism industry, uh, doing seasons as a troubadour, playing upper ski gigs, the French Alps, then got a job in Gastein and managing a big bar called Silver Bullet Bar. Silver Bullet. Beautiful place. And then, as it happened, um, we got hold of this locale in Salamze, where my dad kind of was based. So we opened up there three years ago, and um, then we came to Caprun. I met this guy, had very good times, uh, and then Salbach happened you know, this winter that this passed. Winter. Yeah. And, and how has Salbach been this winter? Absolutely amazing. Salbach is a wonderful place uh, just to be in, you know, and great crowd. So, uh, good times. Okay, so people who don't know Salbach, Salbach Hinterglem, um, it's, it's listed in the top three places for upper ski in Austria, along with places like St. Anton, St. Anton right. and Ischgl, which I'm sure everybody has heard of Ischgl by now, uh, given what happened there recently. Um, so yeah, Salbach, if you like upper ski, is a banging, banging place yeah. and obviously now has an off-piste bar. Ooh. So one of the things about off-piste bar um, is, is live music. So it's live music in all of the bars every night, is mm. it, um, Martin? It is, in a very interactive way. It's all about rock and roll, live music every day and having a real good time. Okay. And Andy's a bit of a singer himself, so he knows what he's talking <laughs> singer. about. Singer. More of an entertainer <laughs> than a singer. So what we do do during, um, during the winter is, as most of you who've watched these vlogs or you're on our Facebook page will know, is we offer a free in-resort service. And part of that in-resort service is we do organize apres nights and quite often or not if we're not in one of the other bars then we will be here early for apres and live music with martin or sometimes with jamie one of the other musicians we also we organize um, parties for the ski teacher community where we organize all sorts of fun and games and shenanigans and luckily just before lockdown on the 9th of March, we held um, a massive ski teacher party here, which was mm. possibly one of the best ones we've done. Um, yeah, a massive one. It was a very, very good one. <laughs> um, and then literally, what, five, six, seven days later, we were closed down. Mm. So talking of the closed down, Martin, what, what, has, what has this coronavirus and the resort being closed on the 15th meant to you? Well, obviously it was terrible, uh, like for all of us, since we, uh, you know, from, went from 100 to zero in two days. We uh, we then missed two like two major season weeks, mm -hmm. and then a full month of April in Caprun, where it's normally very good business as well. Yep. So all the three bars shut down in two days, leaving us with a massive uh, loss of profit. And uh, how yeah. many how many staff did you have to let go? Uh, six people, seven including musicians. Seven like, people like that. So overnight. Steph, seven staff. Problem with stock? Is stock going to go out of date? Well, depends on what stock it is. Beers uh -huh. uh, kind of hold, but you know, there's a lot of things that actually go bad in just a few weeks. Yeah. Liquors and, you know. And obviously during this time, you've still got to pay your rent? Pay our rent. We have, uh, you know, a lot of, lot of costs to cover, you know. Uh, three bars. So it's, it's three times rent, three times worth of staff had to go. Yeah, yeah. Stock and even if staff had to go, cool. you know, we have a lot of cost to pay for the social cost for the insurance and all that as well. Licenses. So it is, it's bad. Really bad. Okay. Um, so I'm just thinking we've lost probably at least eight weeks here in Caprum because mm. we would have had we would have had Easter, which would have been massive. We would have mm. been outside here in the sun on deck chairs for sure. Mm. You would have had all of the ski teacher courses in May that you probably would have profited by. Definitely. Granted, Salbach would have closed just after Easter, mm. as would of Zalem Z. Mm. But it's still probably what? Three lots of eight, 16, 16. Oh, help me, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, it's about 24 weeks worth of business. Yeah. And what people have got to remember is these bars, they only really profit from the winter. Right. So if the winter is cut short like it is, then it just elongates the, the, the amount of time that they close during the summer. Yeah. And 
normally you would try and make all of your profit to survive through the summer, where now we haven't been able to make eight weeks, or if you own three bars, 20 or so weeks worth of money. All right. So it is it is a massive financial impact. It is, and it's easy to say that, it, you know, it could have been Italy, it could have been worse, and yes, it could have been worse, <laughs> but still it's... Uh, yeah, there are, there are, so there are places bad. that are a lot worse off than we are, but mm. either way, it is not ideal that we've had to close three bars. No. And, and this is the same for every bar in Caprun. Kitchen Bitter that's next to me here, Pavillon, Schneiderei, Chillers just across the way here. Everything is closed. Mm. Everybody is losing money hand over fist yeah. however we are staying positive <laughs> yes sir and we are going to bring you some um apre coronavirus hits how to handle a lockdown situation music wise yeah so give us a second he's going to tune up the guitar and warm up his voice i'll get my dancing shoes on <laughs> and we'll be back in just a second with our countdown of corona hits catch you on the flip side Sunshine, don't blame it on the moonlight, don't blame it on the good times, blame it on Corona. <laughs> and don't stop believing, hold on to that feeling. Street lights, people. Believing. <laughs> Hold on to that feeling. Street lights. People. <laughs> so they were the first of our seven lockdown hits. Now, if you seriously want to drive people away and you want to do a practice social distancing, then this is possibly the best tune for you. Today was gonna be the day that they're gonna throw it back to you. But by now you should have somehow realized what you're gonna do. And I don't believe that anybody feels the way I do about you now.
So there you go, folks. We hope you enjoyed our eight social distancing lockdown songs. Um, thank you to Martin for getting involved. Um, I do hope that we, um, we get the bars reopened soon. If you are coming to Capron next winter, don't forget our free and resort service. Come and join us at our APRE events. We do two a week, and for sure, one of them will be here at Off Piste with Martin playing some more music. So hopefully you've enjoyed the vlog. Um, don't forget, smash the subscribe button, hit the like button, share it with your friends, and check out the Facebook page. We go live most weeks. Bye for now, folks. Stay healthy. Bye. So how do we do it? Just do it and leave that line to me. Don't stop believing. And then... Sing it first. You sing it first. Through that feeling. You should use street lights, people. And you sing it so I get my line. You sing it first. Just right. sing. <laughs> And don't stop believing. Hold on to that feeling. <laughs> Street lights, people. Oh, oh, don't stop believing. <laughs> Hold on to the feeling. Street lights, people. Oh. Right. <laughs>